Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Microsoft Word keeps rolling out the great features. Word for the web now allows you to pull in audio files or even video files and it will transcribe them. This is great, a great feature. I've tested it. It's very accurate and it's very easy to use. So let's say you've been in a video conference meeting and someone hit record. Well, not only does it record a video file, probably an MP4, it also records an audio file. So I want to transcribe the audio file. I showed you a couple weeks ago in Word for the Web how to use dictate and how to use the dictate function. But here is transcribe right here. Just so you know this, the browsers that work are Google Chrome and uh, Microsoft Edge, and it's the new Edge. So I'm going to use transcribe. It wants to know, do you want to start recording? So I could actually just start recording right here if I wanted to. Or what I'm interested in right now is upload audio. The limit is this right now. It only works in English. And if you look down in the bottom right hand corner, I've been testing this a little bit. You can only do 300 minutes per month, but that's five hours. So hopefully that works out. I'm going to select upload audio. I had a Zoom meeting. We hit record. The Zoom meeting made the audio file. Upload audio. I've already pulled it up. Document, Zoom, audio only. What's interesting is it looks like I can pull in this MP4 too. If you have just the audio though, I would pull in just the audio. Hit open. I'm not going to sit here and let you watch it upload. But it did upload, so let me show you what happens after it uploads. But a couple comments while this is working. One, don't close this window. It even says that. But just to make sure you know that, leave this window open. I did leave this window open and go and do some work in other applications or other windows, and that was not an issue. So you don't have to just sit here and wait. I'm going to hit cancel, though, for right now. So let's go take a look what the finished product looks like. This video will also have chapters in it if you want to jump around. I'll also put in my YouTube description a link to Microsoft support page for this. The audio files are stored in my OneDrive folder, which is easy to share. All right, let's go take a look at the result after the upload. Okay, so Word has taken the audio file. I've already uploaded it. And now here are the results over on the right hand side of my screen. This is really cool. One thing I can do is I can actually just start playing the audio file. So let me just make sure this works and I'll actually let you hear this. If you notice, it has speaker one and it has speaker two. I'm speaker one, Christian is speaker two, and you can actually come in here and edit the transcript section, which is actually kind of cool if you have any misspelled words or didn't pick up something correctly, but it is very accurate. You can also change speaker one. Speaker one is me, so I'm gonna type in Chris Menard and I'm gonna hit change all speaker ones. Speaker two, Is Christian change all speaker twos? Oops, click that, I guess. My bad. Speaker one is me, Chris, change. So that is how you change the names of the speakers quickly. That's a cool feature. Now, let's see if it actually plays this. And then I want to make sure I can actually put this in my Word document, which you can share later. So let's do a play. What do you mean, Word for the Web has what? So Word for the Web has transcribe. So yeah. if I have an audio file or even an MP4 file, I can. Okay, so, so it's clearly working and I can play it. So now I'm going to add all to document, but I could also just pick and choose sections to add to the document by this add section to document. I'm going to add all though. There is also a link at the top when you share this document. There's a hyperlink that will take you to the audio file. 
So whoever you share this document with can play the audio file if they wanted to. But there is the transcription right there. Chris, Christian. Anyway, I find this to be a really cool feature right over here. So there is your transcribe Microsoft for the web. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.